He's doing so well. He's doing so well. See him. He is doing so well. God will bless you. Thank Your one that entered this innocent child's health is going to be multiplied in abundance Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hi guys, good afternoon and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I'm out of the house with my husband. Babe, say hi. Hi. So we are currently about to go to the hospital. Um, we are supposed to have filmed this video for about five days, ago, four or five days ago. I mean, no, three days ago. Yes. Today is Sunday. This is Sunday afternoon, and um, we're supposed to have gone to the hospital. I think it's on Wednesday, or Tuesday. I've actually forgotten the particular day. But then something delayed us that made us not to go. So I'm out of the house now to go and meet Zebulon's father. Um, Zebulon is the baby that I posted recently on my channel. That was born prematurely, so we're about to go and visit um, him. So after I posted the last video, some people donated money, which I had with me. And then recently, one of my subscribers who had earlier donated asked me about him. And I told her that this is the situation of things. The mother has been discharged. She was billed 700,000 plus. The father has been able to pay 400 and something thousand. Plus the 200,000 I sent to him earlier. That's total of four something that he's, he's been able to pay. I sent him that 200,000 when I was not able to go to the hospital. When he reached out to me initially, then... Um, he was able to still pay another 200 and something thousand that made it um, for something in total so the balance was now remaining 310 so this my subscriber reached out to me and donated the whole 310,000 plus the other money that people contributed that I've not been able to go and give them so I'm currently on my way now so I'm currently on my way now to go and pay some money for Zebulon and also clear the bill of the mother by the special grace of God so that she can go home and you know from home she can be taking care of the baby so the father is waiting for me at the hospital it's wise for me to carry you guys along with the people because without God and you all support I don't think this baby will still be alive up to this time so that is one of the reasons why I am carrying you all along uh, while giving this update so stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video we just arrived at the hospital once again. We're here now. This is, uh, this is Regina Shelley Hospital. Let us go and meet them. So guys, this is me going inside the hospital to the ward where they are. So I already met the mother. I'm so happy that this woman can walk very well, right? Honestly. It gave me so much joy. So she was begging the nurse over here to allow me to go inside the the ICU to go and see the baby. And eventually I was allowed. So I had to fetch my anointing oil. Of course, we are going to pray. Yes. 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 Yes.
thank you, Father, because you answered. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 He is doing so well. He is doing so well. See him. He is doing so well. So well. And sometimes now they can remove oxygen and he will still be there. Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He's doing well. He's doing well. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, so it's just the two of them. Okay. 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 The wife of George just told me everything that happened, the way she put to bed, when she fainted, a lot of things. Wow, this is the last time you spoke. You mentioned that your wife is over 70. Yeah, it is very annoying. I'll tell you how something now. What is your beauty? Yeah, I can't go to the world. Yeah, yeah. Seventy-five percent of your money comes from the world. He's saying good. You don't want to open a chain on the other side. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, what is new? You don't mind, mind, but you're going to send me back. Yeah, I'm not buying that. You're 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 payment for you know see what they have there already and then we just got there i was waiting for them over here to give me the the statement of what has accumulated so far this was i think about after one week or two weeks that we visited no not up to two weeks one week plus that we visited the baby for the very first time so no two weeks two weeks so they had brought the bill and ah honestly i became confused I was asking the man what happened. He was just opening his hands and closing it. What will the man do now? Is in the is the duty of the hospital to calculate what the what they did uh, to the baby. So after much contemplation, I had to decide that we are going to clear the bills of the mother. But first of all, I had to ask them some questions because I didn't understand why the bill was, you know, accumulating like that. And the nurses actually made me to understand that now they are placing the baby on 10 hours oxygen in a day. It's no longer steady oxygen, which is not even good for him because of high cost of gas and they are trying to manage because of the condition of the family so when i asked the nurse i was like is this good for the baby he said no that is not good for the baby the man was so confused he was just opening his hand and opening it because in less than two weeks 880 something thousand has accumulated i'm going to show you guys from their portal so it really hurt me that i couldn't do much so after looking at that bill calculating it ah I was just like, no, let's um, clear the mother's home and then pay whatever that is left, you know, to the baby in the in for the baby so that um, he can continue treatment. So they had to over here. I was making payments. Yes, I had already made payments and giving them the POS back. They debited me and um, some other persons. We also they making payments. See, eh? you got you see. If you never visit hospital this year, just thank God. Hmm? Thank God. Thank God. So this is the portal. I told them I will record this for, you know, see, 886,000 so far. 886,500 and we paid 510,000 for Zebulon. And you can see the balance there. The balance was 900, uh, sorry, 365,000 was the balance. 
it is well god is faithful please the account number on the screen is where you can make your donations please now i was asking them if they can discharge the wife she said yes and the wife is no longer owing because we cleared the wife's bill separately because the wife have a separate bill account while the the son in the incubator also have a separate bill account so it's just it's it's terrible it's terrible so if god uh, permits you to you know help us with the balance of the baby's bill because i know it's been like a uh, few days now that i went to visit the baby so you can imagine what has added up because i told them you should give this baby maximum treatment to so let it now remain that it is money that they don't have to pay because um, not giving the baby maximum treatment is dangerous removing the oxygen is dangerous to me i don't i'm not you know i'm not yet a qualified nurse but at least i know that someone in the intensive care removing oxygen for from them someone in the incubate in the incubator i don't know but i don't know what i'm thinking all i know is that uh, that oxygen that they are removing that baby is still too small to survive on on his own so the nurses prayed for me all of them prayed for me and then i was over here i was waiting for the man to collect the receipts so that who can get going we are all saying thank you me too i was happy no problem. So this is the Zebulon's father. Um, I've come to see them. We've cleared the views of the mother. Yes. She's going home finally to the glory of God. Amen. And then uh, we also paid some money for Zebulon. Please, I still urge you. This is Regina Shelley Hospital. You must not wait for me to come. You can come here by yourself and look for him. If God puts it in your heart to support this family, please do. No? God will bless so you that so the much. younger brother of this baby will go home God will bless with, with, with her. So yeah, she'll be so she'll be so glad to meet the younger brother. I'm happy that the baby is doing well. So if you're investing in that baby, it's not a waste of money at all. The baby is doing well. God he now takes you. breast milk. Okay. okay. So we paid something for the baby. Um, from now on, another bill is already accumulating. The last time we came here was barely one week, and now three hundred and seventy something thousand. So you can imagine. So please support them. Hmm? Thank you. God bless Let me you. Run. Thank Affliction you. will never come to you people Amen. Side in the name of Jesus. Amen. This kind of Amen. situation will never come to your children, Amen. children. Amen. Even to your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will save your business. God Amen. will protect your wealth. Amen. God will protect your property Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. My heart is so full of thanks. I want ah. to thank you all. Thank you for the contribution. Thank you Thank for all you. what people are doing. Thank God will bless you. Thank You're one you. that entered this innocent child's health. It's going to be multiplied in abundance Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm so grateful. Thank well. you so much. I'm everybody. also going to give him some money. According to what my husband said, we're also going to give him a little money. It's not much. So that for the upkeep, every day he comes here, I think two, I'll be three times every day. All those things, A, go to Apple. It's money that is going out. The upkeep of these children because he's currently not working someone that the mother the, the wife and the child is in the condition where how is he going to cope they don't have any other person apart from the husband and the wife and then this little baby so please i'm soliciting for your help help them you can come here if you're in Oka, you can come if you're anywhere within anambra state you can come just ask Ekbendu. 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 our name yes. is Ekbendu. Ekbendu. maternity ward maternity ward Ekbendu. just yes. come and ask and they will, you know, show you the family. Thank you so much. I'm counting on you all. God bless you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So guys, over here, I was trying to make some transfer, the balance of the money into the man's account because I intentionally did not pay all, you know, despite the baby still having outstanding. I usually don't do this. I usually pay to the hospital, but I think in their case, they need this help. So guys, this is me ending this video. Thank you guys for watching. A very big thank you to all of you that actually contributed to the upkeep of this boy at the hospital. God bless you all. From my heart, I am saying thank you. A very big thank you. Um, yeah, we are just here. Uh, when I went to the hospital, it was heartbreaking for me because I didn't know if to deposit the money to Zebulon, that's the baby, in the incubator, or to pay it to the mother so that she can at least be able to leave the hospital not permanently because she extracts breast milk that they give to the baby so at least but at least let her be able to you know move around go to her house and come back at least because um without the debts being cleared without the bills being cleared she was built over seven hundred thousand, as you guys can see 
she won't be able to leave. But finally, thank God, uh, we were able to clear that the balance of the mother's own and is now is now remaining that of the baby, which I know must have accumulated like times two of what we left there. <laughs> that one is sure. Anyways, um, if God puts it in your heart to support this family, please do. Please do. The account number on the screen is where you can put in your donations for them. And of course, I'll be able to give another update. All right. So, um, whatever money you're putting on this baby is not a waste. You guys can see that he's doing well. At first, I was scared, despite that I know that for God to send me to this family, it simply means he really wants me in it. You understand? So, my faith was strong. But when I went there the very first time, I was scared. I was like, God, don't let all this my labor be in vain. Oh. But thank God that God has proved himself. He's left for me and you now to do our own part to make sure that at least he keeps receiving treatment. Ah, that idea of removing oxygen is the one that I don't even buy at all. I don't like that one because I don't know if he's supposed to. In fact, you guys should educate me in the comment section because since I heard that they now place him on only 10 hours a day, I'll be like, ha, ah, can he cope? Is he going to cope? Is he going to. A lot of questions have been on my mind. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.